Yes. How are you? How are you doing? Thanks for Hi. joining us. Well, let me ask y'all a question. Um, since we're talking about celebrities or have been, what do y'all think about the Tasha K thing? Me and Miss Cislo talked about it a little, but I, I do want to get y'all opinion down. on the on the Tasha K thing with the uh the the CO, the retired CO, the the police officer, whatever that was working in the same prison where Kell is is working where he's residing. The CO right now. definitely needs to go. And down. they was giving all the information to YouTuber Tasha K, who is very controversial and who is in a lawsuit right now with Cardi B. But um, the the CO gave away all the phone records, all the emails, all the visitor lists, yeah. all I mean everything. The pertaining to R. Kelly, gave it to this exactly. YouTuber. The CEO had nothing to do with his case. Nothing, nothing at all. Wasn't even working with him. But she had access to it. And that's how, that's all she did was she was going in there, getting his information. Dummy, don't, and, and emailing it to her home uh, email address. Yep. Dummy, don't you know they track this shit? This is the bureau. She was sending of, it to Tasha K from home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then sending it to Tasha K. And then Tasha, like a fool, that the fool she is, the clout chasing fool she is, she so, ooh, I got an exclusive jumping up and down and sends yep. it, you know, and ooh, I got an exclusive and puts she it She dropped a video after video. Mm-hmm. So basically, to me, she's an accessory after the fact. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the CEO was stealing that information mm -hmm. and then you dropping it. Well, see, I'm so confused because a lot of people say she could get in trouble. Then some people say she can't get in trouble. And then when I looked up, is it illegal for <laughs> um, information about a, a prison or, you know, somebody locked up for their information to be leaked. And what I saw said it's not illegal unless the person did something illegal to get it. Well, So then they're saying, well, she, if she paid for it, then it was illegal. Well, so what, what, do what do you guys think? She really could get in trouble, Tasha K. I think I think she should. I think but it's I like think like okay, for instance, Jeronda Pace. You know Jeronda Pace. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Even her emails were leaked to Tasha K. So it wasn't just R. Kelly. All these other emails from other victims, accusers, witnesses were leaked to Tasha K as well. Now, I think well, she, that's really wrong. Now, here's the thing. Here's the kicker. Because they because that information got leaked, he could walk. That's what they were saying. It could influence the he case one way or another, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they, uh, they basically hinder in the prosecution's case against him. Mm -hmm. And whatever information that may hey, have been. Diana. And then you sitting there and you putting out victim information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You giving out what? That's a violation in itself, right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's violation of privacy because these victims, these accusers who are coming to court to testify, it's hard enough for them to testify as it is. And then to find out that there's a CO at the jail, at the prison, where the person who you're making accusations against is residing or living or locked up. And the CEO there takes it upon themselves and give your emails, your personal emails to a big yeah, time YouTuber. That you can say it and, you know, the yeah. shit you might be saying against him, the evidence against him, basically. Yeah. That is just crazy. I mean, I know Tasha K has done some, <sighs> mm. some ignorant uh, clout chasing shit. Some things that some people might even call immoral. Yeah. But this takes the cake. 
even if she didn't get in trouble, this to me just takes the cake because this is an ongoing so case. This is a ongoing case. This is a serious. This is probably one of the most serious um, cases that we'd have seen in the past like decade. And we didn't already you seen this man get off one it. time it's because of the parents didn't want to prosecute, didn't want to put their daughter on the stand. They lied and said that wasn't their daughter so that he got off the last time. Well, look, right. I think, of, think of it like this. And I think Tasha should have thought of it like this, too. Just like she's in this lawsuit with Cardi. If somebody were to access the 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 information dealing with her case mm -hmm. and then release her information to a blogger mm -hmm. like say somebody we know somebody and they say oh here tanya here's some information on tasha k so now we got her email her address tasha her k will be trying to sue they pants off she they we would have all her damn information. Everything. And she's yeah, and she's right now. First of all, Cardi won round one. Right. Tasha K tried to sue her. The judge was like, ha 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 ha, not. So Cardi now right. is trying to see if she can get Tasha to pay her through the courts. So yeah, that would be just like if let's say Tasha K was emailing some of her friends, her or her associates, talking stuff about Cardi B or about the case or whatever, somebody got it and posted it online. Like, this could jeopardize her case. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why she don't see that, but like they said, Tasha K is just one of those YouTubers who has to do anything possible just to... Above. She I has to she go like all the way over the, the top. Mm -hmm. I think she sold her soul to the devil. I truly do. That's what a lot of people have said. And hey, it's coming Friday back Brad. to bite her in the ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's coming yep. back to bite her in the ass. Yep. Because like, they, I like I've been saying, what profits a man to gain the whole wide world and to lose your soul? soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy. I just couldn't believe when I heard that. I said, Tasha K, you didn't. No, she didn't. That, yes, my face she, was like. I don't put nothing past her dumb ass. Because and, and how the hell do you find like like how do you even know who to contact in the jail? Or I wonder if the person in the jail contacted her to get like some monies. Because I'm thinking for that type of information, mm -hmm. they would want to charge to release that information. Because oh, even though they yeah. retired, and I'm quite sure that's how it went down. Because even if that CO is retired, which the CO is retired, yeah. they can still be punished. Because I'm sure there's something in I'm sure there's something that they have to sign saying you will not release any information of prisoners. You know, yeah, that's part. I mean, that's part of your job, right? No Just matter what field mean. of work you work in, you cannot release inside information to the public it's or to your family. Like a, it's basically like a HIPAA law. Mm -hmm. Who's Lady P? Somebody said, I don't, I don't know. I haven't heard anything about that vibrant. 